Who Would Win Hyena vs. Honey Badger by Jerry Pallotta, illustrated by Rob Bolster. What would happen if a hyena and a honey badger met each other? What if they had a fight? Who do you think would win? Hyenas. There are four types of hyenas. The spotted hyena is the largest and strongest hyena. The brown hyena. This is the rarest species of hyena. It is found mostly in the Kalahari Desert in Africa. The striped hyena. This is the smallest hyena. The ard wolf. An ard wolf is also considered a hyena, but it eats mainly insects. Hyenas are mostly nocturnal, which means they hunt and move about at night. Hyenas are mammals. A mammal is a warm-blooded animal that often has hair or fur. Badgers. There are several types of badgers. Badgers are short, stocky mammals with strong jaws and thick, tough skin. This badger is also called the Eurasian badger. The North American badger. This badger prefers to live on prairies. It eats small mammals, such as squirrels. The honey badger. About half of the honey badger's diet is snakes, including venomous snakes. Venomous means using poison to kill their prey. Honey badgers are also mammals. The University of Wisconsin-Madison sports teams are named the honey badgers. How would you describe a honey badger? Fearless and ferocious. Meet the spotted hyena. In this book, we will feature a spotted hyena it's okay to laugh. The spotted hyena is also known by many as a laughing hyena. Meet the honey badger. A honey badger is also called a retail. Honey badgers have dark fur around their bodies with white fur on their heads and backs. They look like they might be made of chocolate with vanilla frosting on top. Honey badgers are omnivores. That means they eat everything including animals and plants. Don't be confused. African wild dogs are not hyenas, but sometimes look like them. The legs of an African wild dog are all the same height. A hyena's front legs are longer than its back legs. Hyenas have a long, thick neck. Related. Badgers are related to otters, polecats, wolverines, and weasels. A honey badger is also related to the sea otter. Did you know? A honey badger rarely drinks water. It gets fluid from the blood of snakes and other creatures it eats. Honey badgers also eat melons to get more fluids. Pack. A group of hyenas is called a cackle. Hyenas are often found in large packs. Other collective or group words, herd of cows, flock of birds, Swarm of bees, school of fish, colony of bats. Alone. A group of honey badgers is called a seat. However, most honey badgers prefer to travel and hunt alone. More collective words. Parliament of owls, murder of crows, pride of lions, crash of rhinos. Africa. Hyenas live in Africa and Asia. Most live at the edges of forests and on savannas. Africa and Asia are continents, not countries. A savanna is an area of flat grasslands. Arabia and India. The honey badger lives in Africa on the Arabian Peninsula and much of India. Den. Hyenas live in underground rooms, chambers, and tunnels called a den. Other animals have different names for their homes. Beavers live in a lodge. Birds live in a nest. Polar bears live in a snow cave. Bees live in a hive. Can you think of more names of the places animals live? Set. A honey badger also lives underground. Its home is called a set. More animal homes. Squirrels live in a dray. Leopards live in a lair. Lemmings live in a runway. 
Pigs live in a sty. Can you research other kinds of homes and shelters? Where do you live? Chasing prey. Hyenas are known for chasing their prey until the prey gets exhausted from running and collapses. This is one way to hunt, but not the bravest way to fight. Some local people have little respect for the way that hyenas hunt. Strong and determined. The honey badger is famous for being relentless. When it wants to do something, it doesn't let anything get in its way. The honey badger attacks a beehive to eat bee larvae, which are young bees that aren't fully grown. The larvae have more nutrition than the honey. Hyena weapons. Sharp teeth. Perfect for crunching bones and cartilage. Hyena poop in white from eating so many animal bones. A strong jaw. The hyena has one of the strongest jaws in the animal world, but not the strongest. Sorry, hyena and great white shark. The Tasmanian devil has the strongest jaw. Where there is one hyena, there are usually more. It's not a good idea to fight the whole neighborhood. Honey badger weapons. Honey badgers have claws that are longer than a bear's. Honey badgers are expert diggers. Honey badgers are great climbers. Who knew the honey badger could swim? They're excellent swimmers. A honey badger's skin is so thick, it is hard to bite and hard to sting. Speed. The hyena can run up to 35 miles per hour. A cheetah can run faster, up to 70 miles per hour. Hyenas grow up to three feet tall and more than six feet long. The height of a hyena and many other animals is measured from its front paws up to its shoulder. Spotted hyenas can weigh up to 190 pounds. Not as fast. The honey badger can run up to 15 miles per hour. Did you know the honey badger can walk backward? The honey badger is agile, which means it can move quickly to the left or right, slow down, or speed up. The honey badger is long and low to the ground. Honey badgers can weigh up to 35 pounds. Ears. Hyenas have an excellent sense of hearing. The hyena's ears are large and round. Did you know hyenas are believed to be smarter than chimpanzees? Honey badgers got their name from attacking beehives. They have flaps over their ears to protect them from bee stings. A honey badger often confronts animals much larger than itself. A honey badger was seen biting a lion on the nose. On the way to the fight, we stopped at a strange art museum. This month, it was featuring unusual paintings of hyenas and honey badgers. The famous Italian painter, Botticelli, might paint a hyena like this. The artist, Michelangelo, might sculpt a hyena this way. The Dutch painter, Vermeer, might paint a honey badger like this. The American modern artist, Peter Max, might use lots of bright colors when painting a honey badger. Italian artist Caravaggio might use dark backgrounds with bright light up front. Here is a surrealist hyena. This might be one impressionist way to paint a honey badger. Vincent van Gogh. Okay, enough beautiful artwork. Now we are leaving the museum and heading to the fight. The honey badger smells the larger hyena. The hyena is aware that a honey badger is in the area. The hyena thinks it can easily take on the low to the ground honey badger. The hyena tries to bite the honey badger. The honey badger doesn't back down. It nips the hyena on the nose. Ouch, that hurt. The honey badger charges the hyena and bites it on the ankle. The hyena moves away. The honey badger never backs down. The honey badger chases the hyena. The hyena finds the honey badger annoying.
the hyena uses its front paws to knock the honey badger down. It bites the honey badger, but it doesn't hurt. The honey badger's skin is too thick and flexible. The hyena bites again, but the honey badger bites back. Then the honey badger uses its strong claws to swipe at the hyena's eyes. The hyena can't see out of one eye. The honey badger is fearless. It bites the legs, then swipes at the hyena's eyes again. With its powerful jaw, the honey badger breaks the front leg of the hyena. The hyena falls. The honey badger bites the hyena on the nose again. Scratched eye, broken leg, damaged face, the hyena is defeated. The honey badger wins. If you were the author, how would you write the ending?